What is going on YouTube? Bryce builds it all your favorite APIA and part 147 constructor back. And I am finally gonna start wiring uh, the JPI EDM 900 into Cessna 172. So stick around. In typical Texas fashion, it has been beautiful weather all week. It's been in the 60s. And my Northern audience is gonna think that I'm a wuss, but of course this weekend it's down in the low 40s. So it's a little uncomfortable in the hangar right now. Uh, but here's what I'm gonna do. I'm gonna take this harness, I'm gonna route it, I'm gonna trim it, I'm gonna trim all of these, I'm gonna strip everything, and I'm gonna put the terminals on, and then I'll show you the finished product. Before I get too ahead of myself though, I wanted to show you uh, what this looks like and how to do it. The nice thing about these wires is they're kind of moldable. You can bend them in your fingers and get them really exactly where you want them to be. But here's the EGT probe for number six. You wanna run your yellow wire to it, cut off your excess. This is all your, my excess. I'll show you how I know. This is actually labeled, let me see if I can find it. It's labeled on here somewhere, there it is. I don't know if you're gonna be able to see it, but it says EGT six right there between my uh, fingers. So anyways, cut that off, get rid of it. Um, where is it? I just had it up here. Oh, it fell, it fell off. So here's number six EGT. What you wanna do is you wanna strip off the outer yellow insulation and you wanna strip off the inner yellow and the inner red. Stagger them like this because these are staggered. Um, if you cut them off even and do them at the same length, it's gonna be a lot harder to get this together. Um, once you get that together, you just sort of screw it together with the provided flat head hardware. And then there is a heat shield that goes over the outside and gets zip tied. So that's the first one done. It's going to be rinse and repeat for the other 12. Well, actually 14, cause I gotta do the carb temperature probe as well as the oil temperature probe. But I'll go ahead and get the rest of these done. And like I said, I'll show you what it looks like when it's all finished up. Cause this is really, really boring. So I got the uh, left side done. It's only taken a couple hours. Thank God for this little heater. Without this little heater, um, I probably would have gone home by now. But here you go, here's the left side. Um, like I said, it was rinse and repeat on all of these. I got the carb temp done as well and the oil temp. So now if I come back over here to the other side, I pretty much started with this same, you know, monstrosity. So now it's rinse and repeat on this thing, uh, on this thing, on this side. Uh, the nice thing about these JPI probes though is you don't want to kink them, but you can sort of manipulate and bend these where you need them to be to get them to be the right length. I like to have all of the connectors. I don't like the connectors way up here. I like to have the connectors sort of down in line with the probes, real close to the probes, so that if you ever have to work on it, um, you've got a nice, what I call, service loop to shorten this, if you have to shorten this um, this wire, or if you know, you're know you running into issues with routing, you can extend it, because this is folded back up over itself, kind of like that there, and it gives you some room to play with it. All right, so here is this side. I know it doesn't look the greatest, um, but once I get it all wrapped up in zip ties, it'll look pretty, pretty good. Um, so I've got my wires run for the manifold pressure and oil pressure, but I need help so installing the transducers. Um, so I'm not gonna do that just yet. Um, same thing with fuel flow. So what I'm gonna do is temporarily pause on the engine and I'm gonna move on the inside and start trying to wire things up on the inside. Since I'm on the, the thermocouple train, I might go ahead and try to get the outside air temperature thermocouple in. I'm gonna put that in the wing root right here. It just, I think it's the easiest place for it. So I'll probably get that wired up real quick. And then I'm gonna look at doing power to the unit, ground to the unit, um, wiring up the ammeter shunt, installing the shunt, and uh, I'll go from there. So in here for a minute, here is that 100 amp shunt that goes in. And here is the outside air temperature probe. Like I said, I'm gonna try to put the outside air temperature probe inside there. I think that'll probably look the cleanest. So I'll go ahead and get this out. Um, these are the wires for the amp meter right here. I sort of ran them up here out of the way. Um, these wires tie into the GPS, but they look the same. Um, I think what I'm gonna do with the shunt is try to install it in its existing location somehow right back here. I think it would just be the best because this is where the ammeter wires, or this is where the wires already are. I don't really want to modify um, the electrical system if I can avoid it. I'd like to keep it how it was. So I'll have to find a way to, 
to mount this on there but once I got that I think I can do a pretty good and clean installation so I'll figure that out and then I'll catch back up with you so I've got this one in I got the temperature thermocouple on there that wasn't that wasn't too too hard to do um, now I'm gonna make a plate for this but I have my aluminum at the house so I'm gonna make a plate for this to hold the shunt um, I'm gonna have to get bigger terminals for the existing ammeter wires and then I'm gonna have to find out what I need to do with the fuel wires now I know that the existing power wires are coming off of the instrument circuit breaker so I can reuse it I just need to find out from size if I have to provide its own power source um, from its own circuit breaker or if it can use the existing power source so I'll call them first thing uh, Monday morning um, but I just slipped and hit my uh, my hip right on top of one of these seatbelt latches so I think I am done for the day so that is gonna do it for this video um, continuing wires tomorrow and or I guess in the next video um, as always if you've enjoyed it make sure you stick around leave us a like leave us a comment subscribe uh, follow me on Instagram join the discord all that good stuff and as always go build something and be easy